Hi everyone, it's Kathy from Today House. Today is Thursday, December 27th. I've been gone about a month. I've survived December at work. <laughs> well, I guess it's not over yet, so I guess I shouldn't count my chickens. Um, I hope you all had a happy Hanukkah or happy Christmas, or if you're celebrating, happy Kwanzaa. I believe ends either tomorrow or well, tomorrow is Friday. Um, tomorrow is Saturday. I think it's three days. I think it's the 26th, 27th, and 28th. But I'm not sure. Um, so, happy Kwanzaa. And I want to thank you if you are a subscriber and you've come back. Thank you so much for coming back and spending some time with me. And if you're new here, I want to welcome you in. And uh, thank you as well for spending some time with me. Uh, let's see, where am I going to start today? Well, let's start with the obvious. I had a hair crisis month and had a hair appointment uh, one evening and had just, I was fed up. My hair was looking unhealthy and crappy and straggly and I was just done. So when I went in, I was like, chop it off. I'm going to let it grow back in, hopefully healthier. And, um, but you gotta say, I'm loving short hair. It's easy to do. It's not in my way all the time. I say that as I brush my bangs out of my face. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've had short hair before and I love it. And, um, I like having like, it's clean around your neck. Oh, I do have like a little bit of buzz undercut going on here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but yeah. I was just like, I pulled the trigger, man. And I had been thinking about doing it for a little while. And especially in wintertime, it's drier. So it's easier to sh for me to straighten my hair in the wintertime. Um, by the time spring rolls around, getting into summer, this probably should be like down to here. And I'll start going with, you know, crazy curly hair again. But yeah, I, I bit the bullet. And I think part of it too was that I had a lot of work stress and... I just needed something in my life to be easy. So I went for, I just, I was like, I need a change. I just do it. Just, whoosh, and I love it. Love it. So welcome to my new haircut. Um, let's see. I wanted to start with just acknowledging people who sent me cards. Uh, and we all saw the, Pam and Steph one, which is so great, in the huge mailbox. And it's just hysterical. Um, my friend Pat, who I met on Flosstube, via Flosstube, she, this is a Snug Harbor Craft inspired ornament that she picked up, she started doing chalk couture, and she made me that adorable little ornament. Isn't that so sweet? And loved it. I love it. And this is from Amy Loves Toads. Reminds me of Country Cottage Needleworks, that frosty forest. Love it. And she sent me some toad green floss. So thank you, Amy. And let's see, I believe. Oh, Becky from Stitch and Hutch. She's my sister from another mister. Like, <laughs> she's... She's fantastic. So we exchanged cards. And she lives in Arizona. I used to live in Arizona years ago. She was telling me, you need to move back out there. And this one is from Diana Zaslow. These delights. Stitching. I love that. It's really pretty. And this is from... Okay, so this is from Ryan, who... Uh, I mentioned a couple videos ago, I met her at the Primitive Hair Retreat in, um, in Sturbridge, Massachusetts. And her, her Etsy store is Wild Violet Cross Stitch. So she sent me this card. And she sent me a skein of Belle Soir Enchanted Forest. It's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And then when I opened the card, now let me see if I can get, I can do this. She had this thing like booby trapped. So I don't know if I can get 
<clears throat> get it to do it the way she did. So I get the card like this. And then when I opened it, this butterfly, if you twist it, she had this thing. It startled me. So it startled the dog. It startled the cat. startled everybody. Um, but when, like, she had it all twisted up. There's a rubber band in the middle. And when you let it go, <laughs> it fluttered about. Scared the crap out of me, and I loved it. It was great. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ryan. You just... You're a charmer, you know that? Uh, this was from Cheryl McKinney. So pretty, classic. Holly and Berries at Tranquil Stitches, Cheryl is. And this was from uh, Karen, who received one of my Pass the Stash, Darling. This was from my friend Barbara. Uh, she sent me a gift along with this, and I'll show you that in a little bit. But I, uh, just classic, nice and sparkly, so pretty. This came from Isabel, the primitive hair. Completely unexpected. Um, it's got a sixpence on it. A lucky sixpence for your pudding. When I got this, I kind of like clutched it. Like There was so much love felt from this. And then last, but certainly not least, Audrey, Stitchy Witch 42. <laughs> so cute. And sent me a skein of green floss. Oh, I love it. It's such a nice rich green. And then my tissue. I'm not taking sides. Much. <laughs> um so if you go back if you watch Audrey Stitchy Witch 42. You'll know what the tissue means, but um, she's basically having an online YouTube battle um, with uh, with uh, Vicky, and there's there's some pseudo bullying going on, and the tissue is kind of an inside joke. But I got, I got my tissue in case I need it, and that this last card uh, is not stitchy related. But I wanted to share it with you because I think it speaks to a sense of um, community and around the holidays. But I received this card in the mail or in my mailbox, and I don't know if you can see how beautiful and sparkly it is. This card was from my mail carrier, and I thought it was absolutely lovely that she gave us a card, and it's absolutely it's a beautiful card. Um, but I will say, I have to say, I had a really rough month. Work is highly stressful. There were times where I was work crying while I was working. Um, and I think it was just because I was trying to bottle up the stress and control it. And at some point it was just, it had to get out. But I would go to my mailbox and I would have a card from somebody and it was the best therapy Jeez, Audrey, I might need that tissue now. It meant so much to me. It got me through this month. Um, your thoughtfulness, your your notes, the, the tissue, the floss, the butterfly that startled me and made me laugh um, at a moment when I really needed to laugh. And I'm so thankful. And I think sending cards has been sort of a lost thing. I know um, people in my in my circle and younger generations they don't send cards. They just they just don't. And I love that a lot I saw other people showing their cards and 
just sharing that common greeting and warmth. Um, it really, it's just wonderful. It's wonderful. So if you sent me a card, thank you so much. If you sent me a, a good thought, thank you. It was felt. It was felt in, in, in more than one way. I mean, it, I really, I was really stressing and I have to say, you all saved me more than you'll ever know. It's not the end of December yet. I have a few days to go, but, um, but yeah. And on that note too, um, I had, I was pulling some late nights and just doing, you know, data entry work, or like trying to push things, push them, push them through the system and get people to do things. And, uh, it was it, highly stressful. Everybody demanding a piece of me and. While I was trying to get all of this stuff done, I had, if I wasn't watching Floss Tube, I had an earbud in my ear listening to all of you who make Floss Tube videos. And you were my companions through all of that hot mess and stress. And watching the projects that you were making, watching the projects that you were making, um, watching seeing your beautiful decorations and your beautiful pieces and how talented you are and how much you care about your family and your friends and it kept that reminder right there that it's not all about your nose to the keep you know your nose your nose to the grindstone your job is important you want to do it well you want to get it done time's a ticking year end etc cetera, etc cetera. There are other important things too, and they're generally more important. So thank you for that. <clears throat> okay. Before I, st I <laughs> uh, some people that I were I was able to watch um, some new people. They're new to me at least. Uh, are Steel City Stitchers, Kristen and I wrote down the name, Jody. They're in Pittsburgh and. Just a group of friends that meet at, I think it's Kristen's business. It's called Kidsville. Did I write it down? Kidsville. It's um, a place for families where mom and dad can have coffee. The kids can run around. There's all these different, it's set up kind of like a town. So there's like a salon and a gym and just places for them to play while mom and dad have coffee. It's really cool. And then they have some really good, uh, really beautiful pieces that they're, they're working on and sharing. And their Whip It Good segment was really, really fun. So I really enjoyed that. The next one is Teresa Koga. Um, I've, I've seen other stitchers now, or other Floss 2 people, talking about her channel. And I'm really enjoying it. I really love seeing her creative process. I love her designs. Her artwork is gorgeous. If you do that, you're going to... The cat. <sighs> He was trying to go, like, just leap a little too far for his <laughs> ability. He, he went to the floor instead, so that's good. Um, so her creative process, being able to see what she's working on and her artwork, and she shares everything. It's just really, really nice. Really nice channel to watch. The next one is Gemstone Stitches, Dana. Uh, she's working on a drawn thread... It's, yeah, it was Drawn Thread. It's Autumn Garden. And I have that piece, and then seeing her finished piece of that inspired me to want to go get that out. So I definitely need to, uh, need to work on that. need to find that chart and get started, because I love those garden pieces. Oh, I love Drawn Thread anyway. The next one, and I've seen a uh, number of people mention these. To our Southern California stitching, Casey and Dara, mother and daughter. Their videos are really nice. They're short and sweet. They give you kind of like that quick fix. <laughs> and they're doing some really great stuff. Um, I really like it. I really like it. It's I like the longer videos. I like the shorter. I think everybody brings something so different to the table. And I get something out of every video I watch. So, And then the final one I just discovered. 
last night while I was working late is Joe B's journal. Joe and Elizabeth, I think they're in Australia or New Zealand, Australia. And Joe is a cross stitcher and her daughter Elizabeth does diamond painting. And Elizabeth is a special needs daughter. Um, she's such a beautiful girl. Oh my goodness. And she does these diamond paintings. I'm impressed. I don't even do diamond painting. It's a little intimidating for me. So um, go and check them out. They're a delight to watch. And I think you'll enjoy them as well. Goings on, a little Christmas wrap up stuff. Uh, a couple of pieces that, actually this will probably fall under previous, <laughs> previous finishes that I didn't show you during my, my uh, Christmas video last month. I can't believe it's been a month. Wow. Uh, one thing I had previously, this guy is, he's got a lot of miles on him. Lost all my mittens. I finished it on this, look at, you can tell the felt starting to pill. I might have to pull this out and refinish this one again. Get some new, new felt. Uh, it came with the mitten, the chart came with the mitten and the buttons. And I think, I think it's you and I and friends or sisters and best friends maybe. Um, but you can see, like, I tacked it down and, like, <laughs> it's starting to come away. And it just needs some, some refreshing love, I guess. So I'm going to, before I put this away for, for, uh, winter, I will redo that. This I had shown previously. My friend Helen gave me this little kit. And one night when I did have a couple of hours and I was just, I was too strung out from work to continue to work. I just wasn't being productive. So uh, I pulled this kit out and I was like, a couple hours later, boom. And I love it. It was easy. It's beautiful. I'll keep it out all winter. I love my cardinals. I love my red birds. So I'm going to hang that. And I ha I've been having it hanging on the hutch in the dining area. And I'll put it back out there. I finished this guy last year. Little House Needleworks. It's snow cold. And this will stay out all winter. Another little red bird. Put a little, like, sparkly doodad thing in the corner. And that's the backing fabric. I had made two of these. I made one for my friend Jennifer. And I put like greenery across the top. So I might give this. It still I think needs a little more zhuzh. But I love it. Little House Needle Works. And finally. So this is something I did. Something I finished. Something I gave away. I came back. So uh, a little background on this. My boyfriend's family does a Christmas craft exchange. So you have to make a craft and then it's like a white elephant thing. So everybody picks a number. You get this like random bag. You can keep it. You have to guess who made it. You can keep it or trade it. And so the first year that he and I were together with his family for Christmas, and let me tell you, I mean, our family did Christmas. Their family does Christmas. Like it's... So anyway, because it was my first year involved in this whole thing, my I became very competitive. And usually I'm not like that. Usually I'm like, Psh. you know, eh. um, but I became very, I was like, I need to make the gift that's going to get traded 20 times, even though there are only 10 people. I need to make the gift that everybody wants. So I said to my boyfriend, you're not supposed to show it, but I showed it to him. And I'm like, if it ends up, if you have the last number, get it back. Cause I love it. And he was like, that's not how it works. So here it is. It's <gasps> Stony Creek. And there were Daphne Dog is sad. Um, it's Stony Creek. They had done a series of free charts. So I did each chart in a long bell pool style. So snowman and a little chickadee. And then believe. And then well in the house. And then I finished it using a snowflake hanger. 
And so I finished it into like a long bell pull thing. <laughs> and obviously, since they were free charts, and I was getting them as they were coming out every month. Um, so I had been working on this for like months. So I, when I was like, get it back. He was <laughs> like, I don't know if I'll get it back. I, that's not how it works. So the person who ended up with it was uh, my boyfriend's mother. And she gave it to him and said, I could tell you wanted it, so I'm giving it back to you. So she graciously <laughs> gave it back. Um, she's also now, it's funny, she saw it hanging up. She's like, oh, that's my bubble. And I said to her, I feel like, do you want it? Because it really is yours. And she said, no, I'm downsizing. I'll be bringing over a few boxes to your place of things you might want, so keep it. So... So those are a few. Daphne, honey. Daphne. I don't know why she's barking. Crazy girl. Okay. Uh, some gifts. At the end of this video, I'll insert a, a very short video of some ornaments on my tree. Uh, my mantle and in my tree. Some that mean a great deal to me. It's not a full like tour thing. But just some ornaments from my tree. One of them is um, a very moving ornament for me. So um, I'll put a timestamp in so you know where that is if you want to see that. Otherwise, you can just skip over it. But a couple of gifts. The first gift. It's like the first gift of Christmas. <laughs> my friend Jennifer does peyote beading. Do you, are you familiar with that? I know... I think it's Liz from Country Stitchers does that. Oh. Um, but she makes these beautiful. They're called Beaded Stuffed Stars. And she sent this to me. And I kid you not. It is stunning. Silver and purple. With a bead in the middle. Like an amethyst bead in the middle. Beads, she even beads the hanger. These stars for me. I... So she sent that to me this year. And then Last year's star is pale blue and silver. Hand beaded by her with a whole bunch of love. And the fact that I got one last year, getting another one, I have a whole galaxy of love. That's what, I, that's what these feel like to me. They feel like a galaxy of love. I can't even imagine the time and patience that goes into making one of these. I can't even imagine. And the fact that she cares enough about me to send that to me, I just... She's super talented anyway, and I felt... Oh, I'm not even going to go into that. Aren't they gorgeous, though? They're, they're called Beaded Stuff Stars, I think they're called. She's taught a class in Colorado on how to make them. Um, so thank you, Jennifer, because you know, well, I, I hope you know how much I love you and how much I love them. And then my friend Barbara sent me a gift, but also sent my boyfriend a gift. So she sent him, as I've said before, he likes to bring out his telescopes, look at the stars. So she sent him a coffee mug that when you pour the hot water in it, it's got stars on it. When you pour the hot water in it, the constellations appear. He was thrilled to death. He was like, this is the coolest thing. And then she made this for him. Merry Christmas. I don't know if you can really see or not, but that blue fabric. 
felt it on the back. And it's trying to says handmade with love. And he was, even he was like, he appreciates handmade things. He does woodworking. So he know like he has that sense where some people don't. And he was like, she made that for me. And I was like, yeah, she made that for you. Isn't it beautiful? And then for me, she made this tree that says joy with the bells and the rickrack and the popsicle stick trunk and felt it on the back. The little charm, this is handmade with love. I'm telling you, I guess I'm not telling you because I'm quite speechless. She also sent me, uh, she sent me Heart and Hand, Man That I Love, so I can, I have all of these now, some finishing fabric. She sent me. I've seen these before, some other people showing them. It's so cute. A little frog measuring tape. She sent me a pickup wand that has the magnet. Now I have one of these. It's way smaller than this. This guy, this is a pickup wand. So I think I'll bring that like teeny little raggedy thing up here into my sewing room. So if I drop a pin or whatever. I can find it, but this guy is going down by my, my stitching spot. Um, and then she sent me All Through the Night, Oh Christmas Tree with 30 count putty linen week star work. And then, and I have never seen these before, Baldoni skeins of floss. Aren't they beautiful? Let's see if I put them against white, if you can maybe see the color a little better. My goodness, Daphne, getting all worked up. <gasps> So, Daphne, please. And I knew Valdani made the balls of floss, but I did not know that they made skeins. So there's that. Okay. Um, the generosity that people show. And it comes from such a place of love and friendship. And how fortunate am I? All the stresses that I've had and then people do these things, make these stars, these beautiful stars and these gifts and these handmade ornaments and It tells you, it, it brings you back to like what's important. Or at least it does for me. Um, a couple of things that I received for Christmas. I'm going to laugh. This is, I need to lighten it up a little bit. Okay. Um, a couple of gifts that I received for Christmas is Christmas gifts. You'd say, how is that stitchy related, Kat? <laughs> it's a file folder. I asked for four boxes of these because they're expandable. And they have handles on them and I'm going to spend New Year's time organizing my craft room and these were expensive and I had them on my Amazon wish list and I got four boxes of them so I can file now in my new file cabinets my charts and then the other quick thing I wanted to share with you 
Uh, I order calendars, or I put calendars in my wish list every year because I love a new calendar. And I received as a gift favorite things 2019 calendar. And the artist is Wendy Bennett, I think. Bentley. Wendy Bentley. Look at her artwork. Isn't that so sunny and just happy and pretty? And so for each, you know, each month. I just thought it was really cute and I wanted to share it. Look at that mermaid. Cute, right? So I got those as gifts. Some haul that I've been um, that I picked up over the last month. I did get from uh, Needleworkers Delight. This is the next charts in the Letters from Mom series. Forgive first. January, Family Matters, December, isn't that sweet? And this is February, Token of Love. I did get from the uh, Cottage Needle, a couple of things. Oh, I got this also from Needleworkers Delight. This one I had ordered like three months ago. It finally came in. It's a little pumpkin pin cushion. And it's the entire kit. And then from the cottage needle on Etsy. Llama lump. I gotta tell you a story about this. I found a pair of llama, Christmas llama leggings in Walmart for like three bucks. And I was like, I was running around getting last minute stuff. And I pa I zipped by these llama leggings and backed up. Like, <laughs> so um, for Christmas day, I wore my llama leggings and I thought, yeah, three bucks. Even if I wear them once and wash them and they disintegrate, three bucks, right? But it was a llama Christmas for me. I love this llama trend that's going on right now. So cute. And then also from the Cottage Needle, I picked up It's Plum Street called Dust of Snow. I thought it was just so simple and elegant. Uh, and it says, the way a crow shook down on me, the dust, of, the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I rude. And then also from the Cottage Needle, I picked up the last of the Festive Little Fobs coffee edition, which is really cute. People keep saying to her, I guess, that this looks like a wreath with berries and it's like they're coffee bean berries. And then also C is for coffee. And then from Kitten Stitcher, Teresa, I picked up a few things she sent I, I bought the um, just another button company plum pudding buttons and with that she included the free chart now bring us some figgy pudding she was having like a post Christmas sale before Christmas <laughs> which is great and then I've seen a lot of people in this one, Christmas Land, really cute. Raise the roof. So she re released that. She and I guess Susie Reno. And then the last thing is uh, Blackbird Snow Garden. I just really like that one. And then she included some anchor floss as well. this wax. I don't know if she sent that where that came from. That might have been from Barbara. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it was from Barbara now that I think about it. Then the last thing I picked up was from Cheryl McKinney uh, Project Bag. I loved the fabric that she had selected and the scissor finder has a little birdhouse on it. But look at this beautiful fabric. 
And I was starting to think spring and it just took me there. I thought it was so pretty. It's like herbs and daisies. So that was my little bit of haul, my last month's worth of haul. And the lovely gifts given to me. I the older I get, the more I feel these things in my heart. You know, it, it's it's funny to me how when you're young, I don't, I guess maybe some kids do, but not everybody does. Um, but not, I really like it. I really, it's the sentiment and the work and the effort that goes into making those things that really moves me. And makes me so thankful for all of you, for my friends, my family. It was a rough month for me this year. So I really felt Christmas when it came. Well, I felt Christmas every time I went to the mailbox. I felt Christmas every time I saw a package at my door. I needed it. I needed it. I needed to, to remember that all the stress that I was going through at work was just work stress and that other things were more important. Work equally as important. Work is important. It's important to me. It's important that I do a good job. It's important, you know, that I get everything done and everybody's happy. And um, I had a very good work ethic instilled in me at a very young age. And it, it serves me well on most occasions. Sometimes I take on a little, bite off a little more than I can chew. But... Anyway, enough about work. Fuck. It'll be there tomorrow, right? Just a little whip, something that I picked up, which I'll probably put down very quickly. <laughs> uh, I did a little bit of work on this little dove Merry Christmas sampler. This is where I'm at. Last night I was watching Kennedy Center Honors and I put in those two angels and start the little house down there. Um, this is the one that I was telling you many, uh, several videos ago that because I, I made a boo-boo in selecting the fabric, I'm doing all the colors first, then I'm going to coffee and tea diet and then go back and do the white and hopefully that'll work. So that's the one that I've I picked back up the other night. And then also, um, going back to the whole craft exchange thing that my boyfriend's family does, and I guess now I do too. Um, I The first year I did stitching. But if you're guessing who the person is that did the craft, I can't do stitching every year because it's obviously going to be me. Um, and I found this from Yankee Creek Stitcher from Jerry. She showed this in one of her videos. This was a craft that she had done when she was getting out her Christmas decorations. So it's a wine glass and you put, you, there's, uh, I used mat board. You glue the little figurines and the bottle brush tree onto it. And when it's this way, you pour the snow in because you don't obviously want it spilling out. Then you take the bottom with the glued figurines, stick it in, glue it to the rim And then get a little snow globe thing. And then a candle on top. Ta da! So that was my craft for this year. And it went over very well. So thank you for that, Jerry. Okay, so that's all I have for today. I hope you have a very happy, healthy, prosperous, joyous New Year's. We're going to stay in. Our days of out partying are over. <laughs> we'll make a baked brie. I always make baked brie for New Year's Eve and have a bottle of champagne. He'll have half a glass. I'll have the rest of the bottle probably. Um, yeah. Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you so much for all of your inspiration and the joy that you bring to my life. And... I hope to see you, I will see you in 2019.
Until then, peace. Hi, everyone. I just, I know I'm a little late to the party, but uh, getting ready to take down my Christmas decorations and I wanted to share just a few things with you before they get put away until next year. So this was, um, <clears throat> as you've seen it before, uh, Secret Santa Above the Mantle. And I put a garland there and I have my Polar Express Bell because I believe. And this little needlepoint stocking that I actually received as a gift. Um, I made this DMC, it was a DMC kit. This little stocking, I have that hanging up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I love my little peace bird. I just think it's so sweet. Uh, and that I made, or my aunt actually made that little stocking. Years and years and years ago for me. Uh, and then some ornaments on the tree because they're, they're getting ready to be put away. Um, one of my favorite things is I have a bunch of these. <laughs> I made that for my boyfriend. He likes grumpy cats. So I made a little grumpy cat for him a couple of years ago. And I love these glass eggs. Um, I have glass icicles on my tree. The little robot. Danger, Will Robinson. Uh, back there is a little Santa that I stitched. And that little gingerbread house. My mom painted that when I was a child. So that's probably 45 years old. And she also painted that soldier. Um, I know, darling. And then I made last year for my boyfriend because he likes celestial things. I made him the the sleigh for the Mill Hill kit. And there's another house that my mom painted. Church, actually. Um, I have a bunch of Starbucks ornaments on my tree, and I love these. Uh, they're actually acrylic, they're not glass. Acrylic candies. And down here I have a uh, bird's nest in the tree, an acrylic lollipop, and I put my candy canes <laughs> in my tree. Um, these wooden spiral ornaments. And then my friend Jennifer last year made me this beautiful, it's hand beaded. Peyote star. Isn't that gorgeous? And then this year, she made me another one. Purple and silver. I love them so much. They're so beautiful and such the effort that must go into making them. And she, every year, has been giving me one since I met her. I love them. Uh, my sister gave me this little belt, cross stitch, candy cane. I know, darling. One of the ornaments that I have is this little bell. And I don't know if you can see it or not. But this is, I purchased this bell after Sandy Hook, after all those children and teachers who were killed several years ago. And the proceeds from this bell, from the purchase of this bell, went to build playgrounds for children around the country in underdeveloped areas, or underdeveloped, not underdeveloped, but you know, in areas where kids don't have playgrounds to play in. So I always thought it was such a great cause. Every time I go past the Sandy Hook exit on Interstate 84, my heart sinks a little bit. And... It just, it means a lot to me. This little bell just reminds me, live in the moment. You know, every year I think of the parents of those children, what they must have gone through, what they continue to go through. Another little grumpy cat I made for my boyfriend and the glass egg. So, oh, I made this little stocking, the church on it. I guess that's about it. Um, I have a lot of glass ornaments on my tree. Glass icicles. Very difficult to see in this light. But um, since we can't have tinsel because of the animals, 
And then I always laugh because like our tree chopper has been crooked all season. And I'm like, well, that's keeping it real because the rest of the tree is like, <laughs> everything is so, you know, thoughtfully placed. And then the tree topper is like, Arr. so <laughs> makes me laugh, makes me laugh. But, um, so that's my tree and a couple of the ornaments uh, that I wanted to share with you. And um, I hope you all had a Merry Christmas. I hope you have a very happy new year, a very prosperous, healthy, and wonderful 2019.